and I've taken back my spot from Rochelle. She did a great job last week and you can all look forward to seeing her on the new Unseen Fashion website. Keep an eye out for its launch. Today we've come inside to shoot in the studio. It's a bit nasty outside, but none of that here though. Oh, very funny guy. Now change it back. Much nicer. Now, what we have for you this week. Yeah. Nitro Circus in sunny Townsville. Nudity. Calendar Girls Play opens in windy Sydney. Critters. In every state, the RSPCA's 10th annual Million Paws Walk fundraiser. And Frocks. Showing off young designers at Fashion Forward Weekend. Let's start with Calendar Girls. The play has been a huge success everywhere and with a fresh cast of inspiring ladies is set for more great performances. What's it about? Unseen TV's Girl About Town Siobhan went along. Here's her report. Miss September is normally a page three FHM girl. Today, at the Royal Theatre, we're seeing the Calendar Girls and we're launching a completely different pin-up girl. They're raising money for leukaemia research. My husband hasn't seen, he only saw the movie, um, he read the story and he, he gives me 100% support. My daughter, I think, Lexi, who's 14, was a little nervous for mummy in Brisbane, <laughs> to say the least. And uh, I mean, after she saw it, it's like Jean's daughter, Charlie, you know, um, probably good that they were both there together because they went, oh, that's our mum's. And, and after that scene, there's so much more to the piece. Don't touch the buttons. 10,000 people are diagnosed with leukaemia, lymphoma or myeloma each year. And so our services are uh, free accommodation and free transport to and from treatment. And um, the money that's being raised by this production will, will go towards that. RSPCA, change the name but not the letters. Anyway, nobody doubts the value of work that they do, but we all know it's got to be paid for in some way. So the Million Paws Walk is a great way to raise money. Scooby-Doo was there and Mel was too. Homebush for the Million Paws Fun Run, which is a charity run for the RSPCA. It's been running for several years now. It's their biggest fun run for the whole year, and we are about to take off on our little 4K adventure. So let's get going. This is a crazy, this is a crazy run, dog. I've just stolen this dog off a complete stranger. <laughs> Literally just uh, stolen this dog. Yeah, I'm going to take it home. I'd love a Border Collie or I'd love a Labrador. I also like dogs you get from the pound, you know, like just a yeah. little stray. They're, they're fun. She's so excited. Yeah. Because there's too many puppies here. <laughs> she doesn't know who to play with. I just, I didn't realise how big it was, but it's, Jeez. yeah, such a great, you know, great cause. Um, so we thought we'd come and, you know, this is like Christmas for, for the oh. puppies. Scooby and I have just finished the 4K run, all for a fantastic cause. That old saying, never worked with animals and unseen TV. <laughs> Nitro Circus, a bunch of crazy guys, or wild guys, or dangerous guys, or just regular guys. You decide. How's it going? I'm Jim DeChamp from Annapolis, Maryland. I'm part of the Nitro Circus MTV show that's been on for the last couple of years, and now we're coming over here to do a live tour for you guys in Australia. I'm a skateboarder and uh, I'm riding this Giganta ramp and uh, it's pretty fun. I'm one of the uh, FMX uh, dirt bike riders here to do the 360 and the body barrel. I'm a mountain bike rider, one of these things, and we're here in Brisbane, Australia doing Nitro Circus Live Tour. I don't know how this happened that we ended up doing this, but just over the years, just grown and grown and grown. We started filming ourselves, doing silly stuff, and People enjoyed, enjoyed it and we started selling it and it turned into this. I actually come from a background of riding skateboards and I've been riding the Mega Ramp for a few years so they created this similar type apparatus to mix up with the motocross and the BMX and skateboarding and stuff. 
So it's going to be a real fun tour, you know, getting to show Australians what we do and love to do. So it's going to be amazing. We'd be living in a cubicle doing work all day and being nice and safe, but hey, that's not, that's not my life and I don't want to be that guy sitting in a chair all day typing on a computer. Now that Fashion Week is over, it's time for Fashion Weekend. Fashion Forward Weekend is a look forward to the up and coming designers you're going to be seeing a lot more of. The Fashion Forward Festival is for young upcoming designers who maybe haven't got the, the backing, the financial backing or, you know, the pool um, to show at Rosemount Australia Fashion Week. Couldn't be more excited. I've been waiting for this for like three months I jumped on this. Got it, man. It's uh, with all of RFW going on and all like the pretentious, like, smirk, ooh, I like this. This is just all about the new emerging fashion designers. <laughs> We are backstage, alive, gorgeous girls behind us, and you've yes. just come from a huge dance performance, mate. How was it out of there? Oh, it was great, man. It was a lot of fun, eh? Came up with it in, what, like, two rehearsals? We had two rehearsals, quickly put it together with my company, A-Live Entertainment, and bang, performed it on stage. It's not about trends, it's about really looking at people and seeing that their personality matches their collection. Dressed to express, not impress, it's dressed to express. <laughs> and that's what happens right here at Fashion Forward. You get to rub shoulders with some icons in the industry. That's about all we've got time for here tonight. I'm Logan, just be kissed by Peter Morrissey, and you're watching on CTV. And now it's Logan's turn. Tell us what's happening, eh? Thanks, Stacey, you're the best. Don't worry, it's just water. This week, I know I say it every weekend, massive lineup of events. Two huge free festivals are on. Number one, the Italian Festival. It's on again, go to the website for more info. Plus, at the same time, down in Darling Harbour, the Blues and Jazz Festival is on. Get out there, get some culture. They're both free, so no excuses not to be there. On Thursday night, something coming up a little bit earlier than that is a little event by a little events company called Chic Petite. They're putting an event on for little designers. Lots of young up and coming designers. The event is called Launch My Label. Go down, check it out. As little as $15 will get you in. That's about all from me. Back to you, Stacey B. Thanks, Logan. We'll have all that for you next week. And don't forget you can go to unseentv.tv for longer versions of today's stories. Nobody brings you more party action, fashion and events than us here at Unseen TV. I'm Stacey Beth and I'll catch you next week.